With all of that, uh, yeah, I'm not going to get the crystal star yet as, as much as we could easily just walk over there and get it. I'm about to do something kind of interesting if you take the time to do this. I almost died there, um, but I think it just went from, like, me having one star point to me having 97, so it's really worth it fighting all of them. Okay, still nothing over there. This is where we can get our interesting badge. Oh, and a shine sprite. Don't pass up the shine sprite. Don't break my butt! Okay. Okay. And with that being done, okay, this makes the situation kind of funny. See, it was obviously meant to be like this. The L emblem makes Mario look like L. No, it makes him look like Luigi. And, uh, and it, it makes the situation kind of funny because the L, uh, Ryozaki Penguin kept on calling Mario Luigi, so, and it was obviously placed there for that reason. End of chapter! Holy shit, we've already made it through six chapters? Fuck. Alrighty then, well, I think we have enough time to get through the Peach intermission and the Bowser intermission, and then I think my time is up. And then we'll, be we'll begin the second to last chapter. Already, wow. I'm, I'm actually kind of sad that we're coming to an end of this game. So quickly, too. Jeez, it's like I just started this. Well, more than half of this uh, whole LP series of this game was uh, me uploading, like, an ass load of videos a day. Like, four. Two of each game that I was doing. Anyways, yeah, we just found the real Crystal Star. Woohoo. And that is where the chapter officially goes over to Peach. Now, I forget what we do as Peach in this one. Okay, let's see what Grotus has to say. What is the matter with you idiots? Falling for a fake crystal star? Okay, yep, just saying that it's, it's retarded that they fell for it being a fake crystal star. And that he's disappointed that, that, that another crystal star slipped out of his hands. Ah, yes, I believe this is the one where uh, Peach figures out where she is. Oh, yes. And uh, this is also the one where uh, that x knot was telling uh, Grotus, Oh, well, you see, Peach has been talking to Tech. And Tech has been helping her. So now Grotus is, like, pissed as fuck. Go, yeah. Hello, Tech. What do you want today? I have, I have reached a conclusion. A conclusion? Oh, really? He just said that he came up with a conclusion. Do not confirm what you believe. Please escape from this place as quickly as possible. The data. You, oh yes, he's come to a conclusion that he feels like helping Peach more than he helps, more than he wants to help Grotus, because I think he realizes that Grotus is evil. Now all of a sudden, though, it's too late. Well, oh wait, no, hold on. It's impossible. I don't believe it. Yes, everything is true. That's why you must escape from here as fast as possible. But I could do that, Tech. I mean, I don't even have the slightest idea where I am. I will not hide anything anymore. No, not from you. I will tell you everything. The place where you are is on the moon. The moon? You mean the moon that hangs up in the sky at night? That moon? Oh, no shit, Peach. No fucking shit. Okay. And basically with all that tick- with all that talking, I'm the base computer. And now it's all like- it, basically just saying, hey, you need to escape. Hurry up and escape. And now, type your message. Now you heard the door open over there. Hold it right there, Princess Peach. Can't let you do that, Star Fox. Look, it's Star Wolf. No, it's, it's Grotus. 
and he's all pissed off that uh, Tech has been helping me for ages. Cool. Cool. Yep. Got it, sir. So, yeah, basically... Yeah, cool. Yeah, cool! Alright! He shut down, uh... He deleted all of, uh, Tech's data and shut him down. And he... <laughs> That's kind of funny. Peach is calling Grotus an inhumane beast because of the fact that he shut down a computer. You shut down a computer? What's your fucking problem? That's just fucked up, man. Shutting down a computer. How could you? You will pay, Grotus. You will pay. Now we play as Bowser. Bowser again. And look, he looks exhausted. Because he's failed so much. Because steal everything from my grasps. As usual. Your massiveness. Oh, just calling him fat. We did it. Okay, yep. Uh, it is even uh, suspicious. Cool. The Hammer Bros Battalion is attempting to breach the chamber at the moment. There is impenetrable. But the scraping tooth and nail in there. No problem. Direct me there. I'll blast this through. I'm Bowser, baby. Hi, Luigi. Bye, Luigi. Well, that was pointless. Random clip showing Luigi walk in and then walk out. Bowser, you're going through your castle. You should feel so proud. Now you're all tiny, and that's my fault. Come on, let's play some Super Bowser Bros. Oh shit. Hey Bowser, why the long face? Oh, that didn't make any sense. Yay, we completed a level as Tiny Bowser. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Leave me alone. <laughs> he doesn't knock over the flagpole when he's tiny. And he can actually make it into the castle. Because he's not too fat. Finish. Oh, okay, so his castle led to a, a workout room. And not just any workout room. Some obscure workout room that we've never seen before. And guess whose workout room it is? It's Rock Hawks! And look, they think that they found the third crystal star that we found so long ago. That belt is mine and all that good jazz. Cause I'm Rock Hawk! Do this? Pain! Ouch. <laughs> okay. Whoa, the crystal star! Oh, yep, it was fake. Which, that has been a known fact for a long time now, but of course they didn't know it, because Bowser... Bowser's just comic relief in this game. That's all he's there for. What? what? Speak English. You, ow, want the real one? The great... Uh, guns. The great Gonzales has it. Oh, my aching hair. So I guess his hair hurts. Alrighty then. Well, with all that being done... zib zob zibbity bop And so all of that took three days as Mario rode on the train back to, uh, Rogueport. And yes, I'm going to call it Rogueport now, because for the longest time, ever since I first owned the game, I've called it Rougeport, but somebody told me I was wrong, so I... whatever. I'll go ahead and, and make them happy. Mario, I know where I'm being held. I'm on the moon. Yes, the moon that floats out in space. 
and I've learned something even more horrifying. In order to resurrect the monster spirit, they need my... The moon? For real? The princess is up there? Oh no, it cut off. They need her what? Her boobs! Okay. Okay, uh, uh, um... Hi, Luigi. It's Luigi. I don't want to read it right now. I, I'll do that when I'm... When I come back next time. Now, I'm pretty sure with all the editing of battles and whatnot, uh, I'm going to have plenty of time left. But I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Because I don't feel like playing anymore right now. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. This has been Frank with Thorpe Gamer. I'll be back later with more Paper Mario on the Thousand Year Door.